This is how to remove an alternator from a 2012 Ford Focus S. This one was built before 4912. It was built to 2012. First, you remove the positive terminal. This requires a 10 millimeter socket. I put a bag and a rubber band over this to keep it from touching anything. Next, from the top, you want to uh, have the belt hang down, relieve the tension here from the tensioner using a 14 millimeter socket, and just let it hang down there. And the alternator will be coming out from the bottom, can't get it out from the top. First, you have these uh, eight screws that attach the uh, fiber pan on the bottom. You need a T35 driver or you can use a 532nds or 4 millimeter hex key. And it's not very tight so it's uh, quite adequate. So there are eight locations, three in the front, three in the back, two toward the side there. <clears throat> Next from the top, there's a uh, 13 millimeter nut for this top portion. And this goes into a stud into the block. So you'll be able to loosen it, but there's about an inch that it can't clear. So what you do need to do is take out this stud it's a little stubborn at first, but it comes out using a, a five millimeter socket wrench. So after you move that, you got like five eighths of an inch thread here in the block to take this out. Then there are also the two lower bolts here that require a 13 millimeter socket. And what you'll do from the bottom then is there are two connections. There's a single wire connector and it's a little tricky to get at from the top. You have to get to it from the bottom and what you need to use is like a short screwdriver to, to pry it in this location to get past this ear shown there and you have the battery cable coming in here this is also a 13 millimeter nut this is a, a deeper nut that's after popping off this this cap you can so when you're removing the alternator from the bottom First you want to get this connector pried off with a small screwdriver. I kind of show it here for clarity. It's a single wire. Be careful, it's delicate. And then, if you can imagine this twisted so that this battery cable is kind of facing more downwards, you can access the, uh, the nut and uh, there's a rubber cap on top of it. So you pretty much have to rotate it from here. Here you can see where it goes into the block in two places. Here and then over here. You can't really see it too well. Okay, over here. And then out of sight is uh, another connection point you can get from the top. This is the position the alternator needs to be in to gain access to the battery plus cable connection with a 13 millimeter socket. And after that's loose and off, then you can maneuver the alternator out through this opening here. You gotta bend this hose just a little bit, kinda maneuver it a bit. Comes right out. 
This is the old alternator that came out of a 2012 Ford Focus, dated 0212 on the nameplate inside the door. And it's a four groove pulley, 150 amp, 14 volt. 62,000 miles, wasn't charging the system. I looked up the part to order. It provided this part number. Uh, and interestingly, what they provided in the box matches my original uh, part. So I gave the call and they confirmed, yes, they're functionally equivalent, both 150 amp, four groove, uh, intended for cars, uh, the Ford Focus before 04, 09, 12.